Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how to add the client's logo slider on the Elementor website. We are going to install a free Elementor add-on plugin, which will give you this option to add the slider logo on the Elementor website. Here is an example of the sliding logos. You can customize the design, you can change the logo size, and you can also change how many logos you want to show on the slider at the same time. And you can change the speed of the slider. If I move the cursor on it, you will see the color of the logo is changing. That's because we have added two logos. One is a black and white and other one is a colored logo. And if I click on it, it will go to the client's website. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and on this website we are using Elementor Page Builder. First of all, we are going to install a free plugin that will give us an option to add the client's logo slider on the Elementor website. So let's go to the plugins and then go to add new. Now here search for Elements Kit Lite. So you need to search for Elements Kit Lite and here you will see the option Elements Kit Elementor add-on. This is basically an add-on plugin for Elementor Page Builder. I have it already installed that's why it shows update now if you do not have it installed it will show you to install it and once installed you will need to activate the plugin so i have this plugin already installed and activated now let's go to the demo page and on this page we are going to add the client logo so i have one section here so let me delete this one now create a new section that will be full width section add padding to the top and to the bottom so we have got the full width section here. Click on the plus sign and search for logo. So this is the site logo. We do not need this. We are going to create client's logo slider. So select this option. You will see client logo and here you will see EKID that is element skit light. So click on it, drag it and drop it here. Now this is the basic layout. You will see five items where we can add the logos and the slider style will be simple or will be banner. Okay, so let's keep it on the simple. Now to the first one, here you will see the option title and the client logo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload one logo. And this will be Amazon logo. That The first one will be in the black and white. Insert. So here you will see the logo. Uh, let me add the title amazon okay now enable hover logo so let's enable it and whenever someone hovers on the logo it will show another logo so i'm going to upload a colored logo so the first logo will be a black and white logo and the second logo will be a colored logo so click on insert so this is how it will look Okay, so we have got the name and two logos one black and white and one colored now if you want to enable link then you can enable the link and put the link here i'm going to add let's say amazon.com so if someone clicks on it it will go to the amazon website you can set the option open in new window so that they will not leave your website so this is the first logo. Let me add the second logo here. So first we are going to add the black and white. That will be Elementor. Name will be Elementor. Enable the hover logo and upload the second logo. That will be colored logo. And I'm not going to enable the link. Leave it as it is. Let's go to the third one. Upload the black and white logo. It will be Google. Enable the hover logo and upload the colored one. I'm not going to enable the link. Let's add the title Google. Now let me add the third and fourth. Now 
all right so we have got five logos here now if you want to change the position of the logos you can change the position let's get the amazon amazon at the bottom the first one will be let's say wordpress then elementor then woocommerce then google and then amazon so you can arrange the position also now let's see how does this look okay now here go to the settings and here you can change the spacing to the right to the left to the top to the bottom and how many slides do you want to show right now it shows it is showing four if you want to change you can change so now it is going to show three slides and one slide will be scrolling it will be auto play and this is the speed settings so you can play with the settings and change the speed or the style settings if you want to enable the loop you can enable the loop so it will keep on rotating if you want to show the dots you can show the dots here so it's like the carousel so one row two rows so it will show two rows so i'm going to select one row only so these are the basic settings now let's go to the style settings now if you want to change the background color you can change the background color now these are the padding settings if i enable the padding you will see the padding here margin minimum height you can set the minimum height also now this is for the logo and this is for the logo background so here you will see the logo background slight color is there these are the style settings if you want to enable the box shadow you can enable the box shadow and you will see the shadow here now i'm going to add the border so you will see the border around the logo one pixel and you can change the color of the border opacity also right now you can see that it's slightly pink because we have set the background color to the logo and when i change the opacity it's, it's going to take the background color now let's update it and let's see how does this look so here is the logo carousel and when i move the cursor here you will see the color is changing so when i move the cursor it will stop rotating because under settings we have that option if i go to content and go to settings and here you will see pause on hover i can disable that one and i'm going to enable the loop update it and now let's refresh it again so now it is not going to stop either even if i move the cursor on it all right now here you will see another option that is banner so if i go to banner and let's update it so the slide style will be banner so refresh it so i'm not seeing any much difference between these two options so this is pretty simple logo slider widget that you can use on your website to show the logos of your partner or clients on your website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips